Lake Superior, a moody lake that changes with the day and the season. Not an easy subject for a landscape artist, but Corey Trepanier is no ordinary artist. He embraces Canada's wilderness in his art and his life. The more you know your subject, the more you can immerse yourself in it, the more truthful your piece can be. Um, by taking the approach that I do to my work, which is, is getting right into it and living in it and camping in it and, and, and really experiencing it firsthand, I hope that my work can uh, truly be representative of, of uh, the environment that I'm painting. Corey's painting the lake in every season. This is the last stop on his painting tour. He's not doing it alone. He brings along his family. Three-year-old Sydney, seven-year-old Andy, and his wife, Janet. The family camps in the wild for up to a month at a time, trading in plumbing and electricity for the tent life. The kids are encouraged to write about and draw what they see. It's really important uh, for me to share it with my family. Um, because it gives them an opportunity to, to see God's handiwork firsthand, especially our children. I just think they, they gain the, uh, the importance of, uh, of life in general, seeing how everything works. And, uh, I, I would go for walks and, and seeing deer and uh, baby porcupines, and they're just so amazed that you can actually get that close to wildlife. And they just can't wait to see the next one. It's all part of the wilderness experience. Canada's lakes and forests. Artists have been trying to capture them on canvas for centuries. And though wilderness paintings reinforce Canada's image as a rugged land, it's one that people are increasingly getting away from. With 80% of the population living now in cities, used to the comforts of urban life, Canadians may be getting away from their rural roots. I had an example just the other day of a gentleman who came up to our place from the city and was so enthralled that he saw a butterfly flying up near our steps and I thought, boy, that's a pretty sad commentary. It's quite a concern to see, uh, especially children who, who don't get an opportunity to experience it, who, are, who live on pavement or in, in small grass lots in their, in their backyards, you know, all their lives, um, and never get to see the stars. Corey often works into the night. He downloads pictures taken during the day so he can keep painting when the light disappears. A commercial artist by trade, Corey left his job to do this full time. But he can't do it without the help of sponsors. Like any business, <laughs> making money from it. <laughs> That's the biggest challenge. And, uh, and uh, creating enough time to, to just focus on painting while spending time also marketing your work and, and, uh, and uh, everything you're doing as well. But even without financial gain, Corey's dedicated to bringing his family and his country to a higher place. He feels he has to. One of the biggest concerns about, about a place like this is, is that it would be lost to future generations. Like my children's children might not have an opportunity to come here should it not be well managed and taken care of. For CBC News, I'm Colleen Ross near Thunder Bay, Ontario.